dear students i am dr mohammad mudassar shahzad and today we are going to discuss the next lecture of zoo geography and paleontology that is called as mesozoic life just in our previous lecture that the paleozoic life was ended at 225 million years ago and the mesozoic time period was started from 225 million years ago and lasted for about 160 million years the mesozoic time period was divided into three periods number 1 triassic that was started from 225 and ended at 190 million years ago and jurassic that was started from 190 and ended at 136 million years ago and at the end cretaceous time period that was started from 136 and ended at 65 million years ago in the triassic time period the weather was warm and dry and many continents of the earth were above the water it was noted that tridophytes and seed ferns were going to be declined in that time period it was also noticed that gymnosperms cycads and coniforms were increasing in number in that time period many new types of sponges and protozoans were appeared and on the other hand in triassic time period echinoids and crinoids were also evolved trilobites were completely extinct and on the other hand in reptiles crocodiles were also found it was also noticed that in the triassic time period small sized dinosaurs were evolved the size of these dinosaurs was in between a sheep and horse and in the jurassic time period plant life was more luxurious than that the triassic time period thousands of new insect species were known to that time period many modern orders of termites grasshoppers cockroaches caddis flies bees wasps ants and beetles were also evolved in that time period it was also noticed that there were many number of radiolarians echinoids cryonoids gastropods and plesiopods on our earth in that time period it was also noticed that modern bony fishes such as tilios were firstly appeared in jurassic in jurassic time period three main groups of dinosaurs were present on our earth number 1 sauropods number 2 stegosaurs number 3 theropods it was also noticed that flying at aquatic reptiles were numerous on the earth on the other hand it was noticed that there was a beginning of evolution of birds and mammals 
it was found that earlier birds such as archaeopteryx and archaeornis were present in that time period it was also found that rat sized mammal fossils were recovered from usa and europe of that period the cretaceous time period that was lasted about 70 million years it was also found that many geological periods were the basic focus were basically focusing on the advances of seas and many parts of the world it was also noticed that many mountains such as andes and himalayans were also observed in that time period cretaceous period in cretaceous period there were two important events number one domination of flowering plants number two extinction of dinosaurs on the whole it was found that the origin development and differentiation of great varieties of reptiles was the basic feature of mesozoic era that's why the mesozoic time period was called as golden age of reptiles in this era many largest and bizarre shaped animals were going to be evolved in there in this earth here you can see the brontosaurus that was a member of dinosaurs it was a herbivorous animal its length was about 20 meter and weighting about 50 tons here you can see the next dinosaurs member that is called as stegosaurus the stegosaurus having a large number of plates on their back the length of stegosaurus was about 15 meter and weighing about 14 ton here you can see the next dinosaur member that is called as triceratops that is also called as horn dinosaur it was found that they have approximately one meter long horns that were covering to their eyes and the length of these animals were about six meters here you can see the thiosaurus that is also called as aquatic reptile and the length of this animal was about 13 meters in this slide you can easily see a bird like dinosaur that was called as flying dinosaur and the wingspan of that animal was about 8 meters here you can see the plesiosaurus that is called as marine reptile and the length of its body was about 15 meter in this slide you can see a giant turtle that is called as archelon the body length of archelon was about 4 meters in previous slides you have already observed the different biggest size of these reptiles it was found that approximately 100 million years they ruled all over the earth and dominated to all the organisms it was also found that these were the first animals that were successfully invaded to land sea and in air when we are going towards the ending period of cretaceous time period it was found that many reptiles were going to be 
extinct. But the extinction of dinosaur is also a mystery of our earth. There were many hypotheses related to the sudden death of these dinosaurs. In these hypotheses, the number one hypothesis was about their cold blood. It was found that these animals were cold blooded and maybe it was the reason of their death. It was also found that there was a cooling climate of the Cretaceous time period. Maybe the cooling time period, cooling climate of that time period was the causing death of dinosaurs. On the other hand, some of the researchers were suggested that the viral diseases were responsible of the dinosaur's death. Whereas some researchers also suggesting that the eggs of these dinosaurs were eaten or preyed by small mammals. Some researchers suggested that some alkanides were poisoning towards the flowering plants and maybe they are going to be cause of dinosaurs extinction. Some researchers suggested that swamps were the basic cause of their death. Whereas many researchers of the recent time period are suggesting that many asteroids that were going that were colliding towards the earth was the basic reason of their death and they also suggested that after hitting the asteroids towards the earth there was no light and photosynthesis was stopped but the death of these dinosaurs was a biggest disaster of our earth but the death of these animals is still a mystery and we are unable to find the exact cause of their death.